Madikeri, the district headquarter of Kurg or Kodago, is one of the captivating hill stations of the Western Ghats in Karnataka. While Madikeri is well known to the Indian travelers, today let's explore a few cafes and restaurants that go beyond the ordinary, actively preserving the heritage of these hills. This establishment achieved this through the restoration of authentic architecture and by serving truly authentic cuisine. The last forest covered hills, emerald green coffee plantations, cascading waterfalls making it an ideal weekend gateways from Bangalore. Places I will take you today are perfect for a coffee date or a leisure afternoon or ideal for a family dinner night. Even you can pick the most authentic spices of Kurg while sipping your coffee. And most importantly, this is not a paid promotion. Rather, I want you to experience this rare and genuine authenticity. Good morning and welcome back to my channel Nomadic Prantik. As we often say, a lot can happen over a cup of coffee. For our morning coffee, we are heading to our first destination, a cafe on the bustling streets of Madikeri. Finding a parking might be a challenge, but the enticing aroma of coffee and spices will guide you to the Aintmane, a personal favorite of mine in Madikeri. This charming spot offers a diverse selection of Kurk's coffee varieties, different types of Arabica and Robusta. And for your information, the Arabica have a milder and more aromatic profile, but the Robusta beans carries a strong flavor. Today I ordered a cappuccino made from the beans grown in the renowned Harjul estate in Kul. Aindimane isn't just a coffee haven, it's a treasure trove of authentic Kurgi spices. My family has been using their spices for last 6 years and today I am here to pick up some for my sister. From hand-picked sun-dried paper to fragrant cardamom, cinnamon, cloves and nutmeg, everything is there. Aindimane offers a rich array of spices and of course, you must not miss out their chocolates. If you have visited this place, I would love to hear about your experiences and your favorite items. If you haven't been there yet, it's high time to plan a visit and savor the authentic flavors. Before reaching to our next destination, let me ask a question. How many of you like me dream to open a restaurant with a warm and inviting ambience during the lockdown? And I am sure I am not the only one. In 2010, Three friends, deeply rooted in the charm of Kulk, gave birth to Rain Tree. A fourth partner joined afterwards, leading to the addition of a charming cafe, beans and brews. Nestled within the walls of a century-old traditional Kurgi house, known as the Peliappa House, once graced by the presence of Mahatma Gandhi during his journey to Kodagu. After exploring the traditional architecture, I was hungry. This restaurant serves a range of food, starting from the North Indian, Tandoor, Oriental, South Indian and Kurg specialties. Today, I couldn't resist indulging in the authentic flavors of Kurg through a plate of Kurg style mutton curry and akki roti. While having this combo, I realized steam rice had the power to weave magic with this rich gravy. And if you are coming here, I highly recommend savoring the signature dessert, Ilnir Paisam, made of milk and tender coconut. But that's not all. This restaurant has a pet friendly zone and ample parking space. Rentry welcomes your full family with warm hospitality. Here you can get the freshly grinded coffee powder from the Markara Gold Estate. It will ensure a wholesome and immersive Kurk memory.
are you searching a place to embrace the leisure of a quiet afternoon our next destination is then for you the wheel cafe as they said it nicely three teamers spun the wheel of their dreams knitted together and built a sanctuary of tranquility seated in a old house amidst the greenery of gulk i lost track of time the walls of this place the trees and even the refurbished furnitures evoke a sense of nostalgia the ambience is a perfect examples of coziness there is different type of seating options in the cafe outdoor indoor seating on sofa tables or on a mattress over a floor or a small room with lots of books or a table with board games the cafe became a heaven where we could slow down appreciate small things and let the afternoon unfold at its own unhurried pace and you can get all the breakfast pasta sandwiches rice appetizer and beverages bathed in the gentle glow of natural light i savored each sip and indulged in the simple pleasure of a oil crafted burger the graffiti on the outer wall and with a big open ground within the compound this little world is committed to build a community which is truly stands for each other come to this corner of coziness and i would love to hear your experiences so for the dinner we are going to a place which offers a small homestay along with a very beautiful restaurant so let's go there in 1853 a german missionary hermann muegling arrived in kurk built a house and church then later he built the first protestant church and school in madikeri few years later he invited others to madikeri to run the school this place was home for one of the missionaries with two bedrooms one kid room with dining and lawn area years later it was taken by some kodagu family and few years back it turned into a homestay with a restaurant belis one of the new cozy restaurant in madikeri set in a more than a century year old house which preserves a blend of charman and kurki architecture you can easily access the menu from the qr code here you can get pasta sandwiches delicious desserts and authentic kurki food like nolpotto rice noodles kadambattu which is a steamed rice balls and pork mutton or chicken curry i ordered a half plate chicken curry and a plate of kadambattu the staffs of this place are warm and very knowledgeable about the history and tradition of this place you can ask bhagya or gagan to give you a tour of the place if they are not busy the symphony of flavors the heritage setting and the shared history of the space made for a dinner night that transcended the ordinary leaving an indelible mark on the palate and the memory i couldn't help but amused when i noticed the air conditioner in the belly's homestay a stark contrast to the fireplace that graced the same space a few decades ago it was a subtle reminder of the changing world even the climate in the fast pacing changing world these places are trying to preserve the authenticity the unique history offers a corner of old charm where time slows down Don't you think it's better to explore these places while you are on a holiday? Comment here and don't forget to share this video with your foodie friend. Bye bye. See you soon on Nomadic Planet.